Mike, thank you for joining us today at the One to One conference in London. You're welcome, Scott. Mike, tell us a little bit more about Lithium Australia. So, well, Lithium Australia is interested in uh, the energy metals uh, growth, primarily those metals going into lithium ion batteries, and is developing process technologies for the extraction of lithium, uh, and also processes for synthesizing cathode material for lithium ion batteries. Now, one of the, the recent announcements was the acquisition. Tell us more. Yeah, that's quite exciting. So in February, the acquisition of the SPC, or the very small particle company, was completed. So that's a company with a 15-year history in uh, development of synthesis processes for catalytic and, and cathode materials. So we have uh, resumed operations, commissioning the pilot plant facility uh, on the outskirts of Brisbane, which comprises an electrochemistry uh, laboratory and, and pilot plant equipment. Um, recruitment's moving quite smoothly. Um, permanent team uh, are now starting to join join the workforce. We've had electrochemical uh, consultants commissioning the lab for us. Um, equipment's starting to run, and we look forward to to getting product back into the markets, sort of in the three to five month time frame. So, obviously, exciting times ahead for you. What's your purpose of being at one to one today? Well, personally, here I'm here on behalf of Adrian Britton, the, the managing director of um, Lithium Australia. Um, he's detained in Australia. Sort of many sort of uh, commitments converging this week. Uh, I'm here with Barry Woodhouse, uh, the CFO. But primarily, we're here to inform people about the strategy uh, that Lithium Australia has to to commercialise disruptive technologies for the extraction of lithium and make cathode materials and importantly also recycling which is an area that we've uh, commenced process development on. And how has one-to-one -one been for you or since you've been here? Well early days but sort of a, a broad spectrum of interest amongst the half a dozen or so um, folks that we've met one-on-one -on -one with. Um, some people uh, here on behalf of Chinese groups who are looking to secure supply of of battery materials and also process technology for, for making uh, battery materials. Um, others who represent funds and looking to place sort of large chunks of capital into early stage projects um, and, and opportunities that, that are yet to mature and unlock value. So quite broad. So over the next six to 12 months, what's the key sort of news flow that shareholders, potential investors should be looking out for? In terms of VSPC, so resumption of, of production from the pilot plant facility and actual placement of, of cathode material with key customers in, in the battery market. Um, Silage is another major project for Lithium Australia. It's, it's, it's a technology for extracting lithium from mica and other silicate materials. Um, a decision is pending on the development of a large-scale pilot plant in Australia. Um, that decision expected sort of early next quarter, so, so look out for that. And also some news in terms of the process development on lithium ion uh, battery recycling uh, processes. Well, thank you for your time today. You're welcome, Scott.